Before we go into the demo, I'd like to go through what we have in our environment. In the production site, on the left, we have a set of SQL Server VMs and an ESX cluster connected to a Clarion CX4960 array. And on the right, we have their replicas, using a recover point to replicate the data to the recovery site, which also has a Clarion CX4960 array. So in this demo, we will show a virtualized SQL Server database being restored using an application consistent replica. In order to simulate a disaster, from within SQL Server Management Studio, we will delete a table from an OLTP database. This is a critical table to the functionality of the database, called the Accounts Permissions Table. Users cannot access data without it. The business in which the database was serving is down. We will also delete the database to show it being completely removed. So the database is down at 5 minutes past 10. To restore the database, Replication Manager is the only interface required by the user, which coordinates all operations across all levels of the stack. We do a restore from the CRR copy from the remote site, and Replication Manager accesses an application consistent bookmark of the database at the time specified. We choose to restore all files and file groups. As we can see from the job window, the restore starts at 10.06 and 32 seconds. If we take a look, in the vCenter of the production site, we can see the tasks being automated by Replication Manager, namely rescanning the VMFS volumes, refreshing the whole storage system, and reconfiguring the virtual machine. We can see the corresponding actions taking place in the Replication Manager's job window, namely the unmounting of the file system H and G. And if we come back to vCenter, we can see again the rescanning of the VMFS file systems after reconfiguring the virtual machine with the replica copy. Again, inside the job window, you can see the refreshing of the VMFS file systems and the ESX servers and the mounting of file system G and H. Restoring the replica completed successfully at 10.11.03 and the recovery time took 4 minutes and 31 seconds. All these actions and tasks were automated using Replication Manager. So if we come back to our SQL Server, we can see now our TPC database. The application consistent TPC database is online and the compromission table is recovered. TPCE SQL Server database application consistent replica is restored.